everybody. Thanks for joining me today at bellydancegirl.com. I thought today we'd work a little bit with hands. Now, we want to keep them moving fluidly, sort of like leaves being blown in the wind, while we're still moving the rest of our body in whatever way it is that we're wanting to move it. But the hands need to keep operating on their own. So let's work a little bit on how to keep them working fluidly and smoothly. Um, you're going to want to concentrate on the wrist and on the palm of the hand. The fingers will kind of go along for the ride, the fingers and the thumb. But the real work is being done by the wrist and by the pushing motion or the relaxing motion of the hand itself. And then the fingers, as I said, will trail along with it for this first little move that we're going to do. I kind of think of this one as uh, leaves falling from the trees. If you start with your hands up and push the hands and relax and push the hands and relax, you'll get that motion. So to get that working and get you thinking about it, what I'd like you to do is imagine a straight line. And your hand or arm is on that line. And as much as your hand is going to go above that line in the undulation it's going to do, that's how much it's going to go below the line. Now our hand, of course, below the line can really bend right up, but it can't do that when we're back here, at least not for most of us anyways. So as much as you go above the line with your hand, try to make that as much as you go below the line. You may get a little more curve of the fingers below the line. That's okay. So above the line, below the line. So to achieve that, let's think of pushing down with the palm. And the most pressure is applied right here, where the fingers attach to the hand. So push down, and that causes the little finger even to splay out a little bit. Okay? Push, and we're keeping our thumb married up to our hand, up to the first knuckle. So we're letting it naturally open here, but we're not letting the thumb stick out because we're not hitchhiking, so stick it in there, but allow it to be separate from the knuckle of the thumb up. Push. Now as you relax the hand, it will separate from the thumb there. Come on up above the line, okay? And push, relax, push, relax, push, relax, push, relax. Let's try the other side. Remember that line? Push down, relax above the line. Push below the line. Relax, above, push, relax, push, relax, from the front, and push, relax, push, relax. So now I'm pushing the palms of the hands towards myself, and then relaxing the hands. Push, relax, push, relax. We'll take the hands above the head, and do it as the leaves falling from the trees. Push, relax, push, relax, push, relax. A little slower this time. And push, relax, push, relax, push, relax, push, relax, push, relax. Up again. You could breathe in on the way up just for filling the lungs and push, relax. Let's leave one hand up, still undulating, and the other coming down. And up. Try the other side. And push, push, relax, push, relax, push, relax. Up, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Six and up around both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, let's try something a little different with the hands. Let's take the hand around, around, around. So if we were doing both hands, they'd both be coming around and then relaxing around, relax. If we just center in on one hand, what we're going to be doing is take your middle finger and your thumb, think of touching those almost together, kind of like um, antlers on a stag, isn't it? 
So, uh, the, the way our fingers look, that is. So take the middle finger here and think of washing out the inside of a pot. So there's a pot here. Put your hand in it and you have a cloth imaginary on your hand and you're going to take a round, a good wipe, all the way around the inside of that pot using this middle finger to push around and then relax, turn the hand over, push back, coming forward and relaxing the hand. So again, push back and relax, back and relax, push back and relax. So these fingers, you have your wrist turned as much as it comfortably can. That middle finger is pushing up and back. The wrist is bent as much as it can bend. So push, come around, relax the hand. Turn the hand over, push back, turn, relax the hand. Again, push, relax, push, relax, push, Let's try it with both hands and push, relax, push, relax, push, relax, push, relax, and let the hands undulate down. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Around, relax. Around, relax. Around, relax. Around. Do a little head slide in there. Why not? Now you don't have to keep that same exact rhythm interpretation, kind of depends on how the music moves you. I'd like to work a little bit now with veil. Now the veil I have here, it's a chiffon veil, and it's about a 60 inches wide. Sometimes they're 45, but this is a fairly big veil, and it's 60 inches. It's about 105 or 6 inches long from one end to the other, and it's a rectangular shape, of course. So here we have our veil. It's fairly light, though a silk veil would be lighter. Now, I think I'd like to show you just a few moves that you can do with a veil this size that make it fairly effortless to handle without getting in your way. We'll start with it behind us. Let's put one hand up in the air and bring the other hand forward and back. We can take our body with, just step and step. And if we turn here, our veil trails behind us in a nice attractive way. Now just don't change the position of the arms, just change the direction of the turn. So we were going this direction, now we're going to allow ourselves to turn the other way. And the air causes the veil to lift in front of our body, so it's a little bit different. Turn again without training, changing the position of the veil, and turn. Let's try the other side. Put the other arm up, and here our arm is out, and we're going to go in this direction. We're going to go one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four. And let's change direction, and so one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and change, and two, and three, and four, six, and seven, and change. Now let's bring our veil in front and put it behind the head. Nice little pose to end. See you next time. Thanks for joining me.